Hi everyone, Grant K here for the Flame Premium Learning Channel. In the previous video, we looked at the new foreground rendering functionality in the timeline. To know more about saving time and disk space when rendering, I suggest you check it out. In this video, we do a detailed run through of the alpha functionality in the sequence. For existing Flame Premium artists and Smoke Advance artists, the way Alpha is handled in the timeline is different from what you're used to in previous versions. There is now full RGBA support in the timeline, which also extends through nested containers. Ideally, the way you handle Alpha in the timeline is equivalent to handling Alpha in batch. It should now work better in the timeline for certain compositing tasks. For example, you could use the alpha in the timeline to create prepackaged elements. You can also have a separate mat container with alpha for each segment and compile them together in a nested container. And in terms of usability, any elements with alpha you create in the timeline can be used in BFX and batch. So let's break this topic down into smaller components and go through the various processes functionalities and workflows. There are three areas where you would typically encounter creating a mat container for your media and its alpha. The first area would be in the Media Hub where you import media. When you select Media File containing an alpha, you have a few choices on how to handle the additional alpha channel. Looking at the General tab, you can choose to import the alpha as a separate clip, create a mat container or just ignore the alpha. We are interested in creating mat containers. You will notice that with this option, you have the choice to activate the Comp Timeline effects in this clip. This means as soon as you drop this mat container onto a video track in the sequence, it will instantly key using the alpha. If you left the Comp option off, then you would have to manually turn on Comp to key the mat container in the sequence. The second area for creating a mat container is in the Tools area of the application. This is typically used if you have a separate RGB and Alpha clip and you want to combine them as a single clip on the desktop. Go to the Utilities tab and click Create Mat Container. The settings give the same options as importing via the Media Hub. So selecting the front clip followed by the mat clip will allow you to create a mat container with Comp enabled to key in the sequence or batch. The third and final area is more familiar with Smoke Advance artists than Flame Premium artists. This would occur in the Timeline view when you already have your RGB segment in the sequence and you want to add your alpha to the segment from a reel or thumbnail view. In previous versions, in order to key a graphic over a background, you would have added an Axis Soft effects to the segment and chosen the mat. A luminance key was applied and this keyed the segment over its background. This meant that the alpha was associated to the Axis Soft effects instead of the source media in the segment. This has been completely redesigned to ensure that the alpha is directly associated with its RGB media. In this version of Flame Premium or Smoke Advanced, select the segment to bring up its effects pipeline. Now click the thumbnail of the media. You will now see an option to add a mat. Click this option and you can click the relevant source clip containing the alpha. This instantly changes the segment into a mat container as indicated in the effects pipeline. The Comp Timeline effects is used to composite the alpha over the background and this is not a luminance key as in previous versions. You do not need to add any other timeline effects to the segment. Alpha is handled at the media source level and this matches the workflow available in BFX and Batch. Finally, in the Comp Timeline effects, you could set whether the alpha channel of the segment is pre-multiplied or straight to achieve the correct edges in the composite. The Background option allows you to correctly handle any other alpha channels being carried up from the lower video tracks. So there are the three areas where you will be able to set up the mat containers. 
we also went through applying a matte container with Alpha in the sequence. This is quicker and more optimised than previous versions of Flame Premium and Smoke Advanced. For existing users, there are still some familiar options for handling mats and the matte container. For example, if you wished to change the matte of a clip like before, just click the matte container in the effects pipeline and there is an option to change the matte. You can also open the matte container to work inside it. And there is also an option to uncontain the matte container if you wish to separate the RGB segment from its alpha. As a final workflow tip, if you switch to batch and you drag a matte container into the schematic view, you will see the clip contains two outputs. One output for RGB and a second output for alpha. You will also achieve the same results when you promote the timeline effects to B effects in the sequence. The nodes will be connected correctly to recreate whatever was done with the RGB clip and its alpha in the sequence. The alpha support in the sequence does extend beyond map containers. So in the next video, you will see how to combine multiple matte containers using a nested container and feed the overall RGBA result into the main composite in the sequence. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Premium Learning Channel for future videos.